What's up, Wayne Baron here with Artifacts.net, and we are inside of Visual Studio 2010, and we're going to be uh, updating records for our SQL Server. And so, um, uh, you need to watch lessons five in order to insert records into SQL Server, and then you need to watch lesson seven in order to read the data that we inserted from. Uh, lesson 5. So, Lesson 5 is for inserting data. Lesson 7 is for reading data from your SQL Server. And so this one right here, which is Lesson 9, is going to be inserting, I mean, I'm sorry, updating data from our SQL Server database. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Also, we're going to be reusing the code from uh, Lesson 5 and Lesson 7. We're not going to be rewriting code. So we're going to reuse both of them codes and we're just going to change up the lesson seven insert code to make it so that we can update it. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm tired of that showing up. So let's do new website and we want an empty website and then click here and choose web form. Choose split. Okay, first thing we want to do here is I've already got my code copied out. And so we want to grab a hold of this code right here. And then let's come over here and replace that div. And then we want to go right below our div here. And let's go ahead and um, also, just to let you know, you have to have your code as far as I know. If I am incorrect on this, please post a comment below. But from what I can gather, you have to have the code within your form tags. If you do not have it within your form tags, then you get an error. And so uh, I demonstrate the error in our access tutorial. And so uh, this one right here, I'm not going to demonstrate it. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. Click here and let's go ahead and get our button. All right, now we're going to go up here and type in input type equals text value equals and whoops come up here and we want to type in get password and then go name equals password and that closes it okay that is basically all that we need right now to change our data so then let's come over here and let's double click on our button and then once again i've got my code right over here we're going to copy and paste this in to there and then we need to go grab a hold of our top code copy and then paste it into there so one thing that we need to do now is change update user table set and we want to remove that and then put an equal here and remove the end and remove that. So that's all that needs to be done here. Okay, so that's the reason why we're, uh, we reused our code and we didn't retype it back out because all we need to do is delete one line and then change up this line right here. So with that saved, let's come back over here and with our uh, form input and our button, we should be able to run this without a problem. So let's go ahead and debug and start debugging. Click OK, and everything seems to be running all right. And there we go. So we're going to change our password to um, new2. So once we hit our button, we should get our new password right here. And there we go. So that's all that needs to be done for updating your records. Now there's more advanced updates and so forth, but we really are not going to jump into that right now. So the only thing that we're going to do here is just leave it at this. And uh, so anyway, this is Wayne Barron with .net. And Once again, you need to view lesson five in order to get this code right here and lesson seven in order to get this code right here all right wayne baron here with darkfix.net y'all have a rocking weekend bye bye